the most comprehensive PhD application guide ever. Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel where we're going to be talking all things PhD and university related. So I'm a PhD student at Oxford, I do oncology and I wanted to share all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years on PhD application. I'm putting together a series of videos on how to get into a PhD program at a top university. It will be a series with a lot of subsections on personal statements, interviews, CV writing, everything you need to do to get into a top university in the UK or the entire world. So in this series, we're going to be talking all things personal statement. So we're going to talk about what is a personal statement, how to write a strong personal statement for PhD applications specifically, how to structure a personal statement, key things to include in your personal statement to make it really strong. And I'll be reading my very own personal statement that I wrote to this PhD program um, as a result of which I was accepted. It is the first impression they have of you and it is how they decide whether to actually invite you to an interview or not. And so we're going to talk a lot about personal statement and go really into detail on what makes a really good personal statement. In the first video, we're going to talk about the introduction and how to brainstorm and things that you absolutely must include in a personal statement. In the second video, we're going to be talking about the opening paragraph, which is actually quite important to capture the attention of the interviewers and to make sure that you set a good first impression right from the start. The first paragraph also tells them a lot about why you're applying to this PhD, what makes you a suitable candidate, what are your interests. It does set the scene for the rest of your personal statement. It's really quite important, so we'll be discussing that in the second video. In the third video, we're going to discuss how to talk about your research experience because that forms the bulk of your personal statement for PhD applications. So we'll talk about essential research skills that you must convey, how to talk about your research experience in a way that shows them that you are a suitable candidate for a PhD. And the most important bit is to back up your statement of skills that you have with actual evidence of how you develop those skills. And actually, I'll show you how specific you should actually get when you're explaining your research experience and what you've learned. And I'll really show you how to phrase it effectively uh, using buzzwords and keywords that will convey that you are the best candidate for this particular position. In the fourth video, we're gonna talk about how you can end your personal statement and other really important things that they want to know, such as why you applied to this particular university, why you applied to this course, etc. They also want to know a bit more about your career goals and how the PhD will help you achieve what you want to do next in life. So I'll share all the uh, insider knowledge that I have of what interviewers actually look for in students. And so if you can effectively convey that, then consider yourself invited to the interview. And in the very last video, we're going to be talking about proofreading and really polishing your um, personal statement and making sure you cut it down to be very, very effective and specific where you have nothing repetitive, where every statement is actually making your personal statement better. It's telling them something new. So I have lots and lots of tips to make a really strong, effective personal statement. So keep watching these videos. So good luck and stay tuned and subscribe. Uh, do comment if you have any particular questions. Um, I would love to make videos on that as well. So um, take care and see you in another video.